Bob Bon at Heidi Park is widely considered to be one of the best bobsled coasters out there, and it's not hard to see why. This mock model uses the terrain to the fullest. Basically, it's the bobsled equivalent of Six Flags Magic Mountains Ninja. Find out why in this review. Mach only built six bobsled coasters, but Bob Bond's their tallest and longest. Bob Bond is located in the Transylvania section of Heidi Park, which is the hilliest part of this German theme park. Bob Bond's entrance is located at the highest point of the park. The ride starts with a decent sized lift hill. The ride's posted max height is 89 feet or 27 meters. I don't believe that's the height of the first lift. Rather, I think it's the difference between the elevation between the ride's highest point and the lowest point. That's because Bob Bon has some helixes and turns back to station level. And then the ride just keeps on going all the way down the hillside. The ride is a delightful mix of turns and helixes when viewed from above, especially because there's no shortage of trees and landscaping. Then there are a series of walking paths running underneath the attraction offering some really nice views. Just watch your footing over there. It's easy to twist an angle if you aren't careful from the stones and elevation changes. But this placement ultimately gives the coaster a nice presentation. Then the ride station is housed in a tall and creepy castle. The inside features some nice stonework, plus a few props like knight armor and shields. You won't see this theming carry on to the main layout though. Bob Bon is one of Heidi Park's most popular rides. It routinely is posted a 30 to 40 minute wait in all my visits. In fair warning, those switchbacks are entirely outdoors with no shade, so watch out on a sunny day. The park typically runs at least four trains, and the operators can load and dispatch this ride very quickly. However, each train doesn't see too many people. Each train is comprised of just seven cars. Each car can seat up to two riders. However, you are seated in line, so a lot of cars have solo riders. Since you must sit in the lap of the other rider, you usually only see couples and kids riding together. The seats are a bit different than your traditional coaster. You sit lower and ride with your legs stretched outwards. Then the lap bar has quite a bit of clearance of the legs of most guests. And then if possible, try not to ride with your back against the seat back. I like to lean a little forwards. That's because of the track design. Mock bobsleds feature a slatted trough. This is so they can drain water. Compare that to the Intamin bobsleds that have smooth troughs, but the water can pool there and cause them to close. But the slatted trough results in a bumpier ride because the wheels are not running on a consistent surface start to finish. You'll feel the bobsled rumble like a cart rolling down a cobblestone road. It's not too much of a nuisance if you lean forwards, but it is very noticeable if you sit all the way back against the seat back. I thought the forces were consistent across the train, but I did like the front a little more than the other seats for that unobstructed view. Once dispatched, you turn right and head up the first lift hill. You get a nice view of the countryside in the distance, and then you're swallowed up by the trough. The downhill journey begins with a gentle turn, and then an elevated helix. The helix builds up some speed, induces a little bit of sway, and pulls some mild G's. You then head uphill into a mid-course brake run. It always freaks me out seeing uphill sections like this on a bobsled coaster, because I've launched many a bobsleds into the air playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, but this is smooth and safe. As you decelerate, you'll get a nice view of Fluid Der Damon on the brake run. Then you enter the best stretch in arguably any bobsled. This is the part that really makes Bob Bon memorable. It starts with a 270 degree downward spiral and a quick turn that builds up some good speed. Then you have a wonderful transition into a downwards helix. It's a snappy maneuver as the bobsled is swung from the left to right side of the trough. This helix continues the swaying and it leads into a dark tunnel. Here you have another helix, this one in the opposite direction. You get another decent dose of positive G's here and the sense of speed is unreal. Bob on only has a max speed of 33 miles per hour or 53 kilometers per hour, but it feels way faster at this point especially because the speed is constantly building and you're in a darkened environment. You then head outside, head uphill again, and hit another set of brakes. Now is the final part. You have a slow turn followed by another helix. This part is quite tame, but it does end with a nice head chopper at least from a pedestrian footbridge. You then gently rise into a shed and hit a set of brakes. Now Bob Bon just needs to get back to the station. 
So you round a corner and ascend a lift hill back up to station level. You then re-enter the station, ending the 3,248 foot or 990 meter long coaster. That is very long for this type of ride. So what a rate Bob on. I would give this bobsled coaster an 8 out of 10. This is a really good ride for the genre. The middle section has some of the best speed and pacing of any bobsled coaster as you just keep on spiraling further down the hillside and it results in some fun helixes. The start is decent too and while the finale is sort of weak, Bob Bon has so much more length than the other bobsleds I can forgive one part being a little tame. I do wish the Mach ones tracked more smoothly like the Intamin ones but Bob Bon ultimately is my favorite bobsled coaster because of that layout and terrain use. So those are my thoughts on Bob Bon at Heidi Park. What are your thoughts on this coaster? Is it your favorite bobsled as well? Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there will be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.